The waves on the shore are choppy. The wind is harsh and the rain hits you sideways like a pissed off parrot. There are 15 of us, the shivering, huddled collective, simultaneously tapping our impatient feet for the bus that only comes every hour. But today, on this day, the bus is 20 minutes late. I've consumed two cups of coffee, smoked half a pack of cigarettes, thought seriously about hitchhiking for 80 minutes. It's from beneath my useless hood that my eyes meet a girl about my age. She's carrying several packed bags. She has eyebrows that have been tweezed to thin and stringy black hair, and I overhear her on the phone. Hey, I'm stuck in West Seattle. Can you come pick me up? Well, can you call for a cab? There's something rattling inside of her. There is a demented air of routine about this phone call. After she hangs up, I offer bus fare and ask where she's going, and as her eyes turn to meet mine, the parting of her hair reveals a black eye and a cut above her cheek. After 15 more minutes, the bus finally arrives. We sit next to each other like new friends of patterns of addiction and self-destruction. We begin to tear away the raw hide of our animal, letting the pulpy truth breathe. It is time for a big sigh. She has been with her boyfriend for two years, and he has been beating her for the last six months. And, and I know I should leave him, you know, but every time he finds some way to convince me, and I, I don't have any friends anymore. My mom won't even pick up the phone. I don't have a job, and if I leave him, I'm really going to be alone. The words start stumbling out of her like an accident she'd always wanted to happen. Someone to hear her story, someone to share a cigarette with, someone that doesn't think she's crazy. Everybody thinks I'm crazy. I worry. It touches me, and I worry. He's going to kill me, you know. She says it as if she said it before, as if it's a reasonable way to die, like a terminal illness or a plane crash. And I want to tell her that her heart is a little black box, that I would love to take her out for a cup of coffee, that I could sweep the wreckage from her skin, because with a tweak of circumstance, I could be her. And this bus ride would just be me whispering that I'm not crazy, holding a compact mirror, fixing my makeup, 